Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Danny Barlow versus uh, Nikolai Varetnikov. Okay, Danny Barlow is actually supposed to fight Euros Medic, which I think is a much, much tougher of a matchup because Medic is a good striker and he's very long. So, Danny Barlow, 8-0, hasn't really fought anybody, but... Uh, Destroyed Raheem Forrest in the contender series, beat Josh Quinlan, and the UFC finished him after, I believe, after Josh Quinlan uh, destroyed Jason Witt. Um, 29 years old, 6'2", with a 79 inch reach. Uh, broke his arm in that fight and was still throwing that left arm. He has a piston of a left. Six finishes out of his eight wins. Like I said, 1-0 in the UFC, 1-0 in the Contender Series. So this is definitely a guy to watch out for. The one thing that does concern me a little bit is he overextends sometimes. And it's hard It's hard um, when you're younger to realize that you can't really cons consistently do that. Now, Nicolet, 12-4, 4-1 in his last five fights. His one loss is Michael Morales, who is a contender fighting Neil Magny here very soon. I think he's 15-0. Very, very good fighter himself does make some mistakes he's not perfect obviously um but that that's a really really good uh test there for nicolay and he passed it didn't win but he wasn't finished like morales he's, he's pretty good at finishing guys uh three and oh since then not really good against good competition 13 and 7 submission lewis whatever that last name is six and two and then nine and two is okay it just really depends on who that guy is fighting. And if you look at who that guy is fighting and the records that he's beating, it's not great. Like I said, 9-2 and two for this guy, 35 years old. He's been finished but the, the one time uh, by punches. But, you know, 3-1, and 12-3, and 8-1. So every time this guy has fought a guy above him, except for Stan Bolt, I guess, 8-1. and one. Every time he's fought a step up. He's lost. Craig Turner's not bad. 7-0-1, 7-0-1. So he's, he's fought some decent guys. But for the most part, up until he lost at 6-0, didn't really fight that great of competition. Now, amateur-wise, he fought great competition. He actually beat Anthony O'Connor, who's 9-1 as an amateur. 4-5 as a pro, so that really shows on how many bad people he was fighting. But we're not talking about Ashley, Ashley Reese. We're talking about Nikolai Veretkinov. Veretkinov? Ooh. But I, I like Danny Barlow. Again, I don't think he should necessarily dominate. I think he needs to be a little bit more patient. I think he needs to pick his shots a little bit better than he did in that last matchup. I understand that Josh Quinlan was moving forward a lot. I understand that you know he's there to be hit. Nikolai, I would suspect, is going to try grappling with him a little bit. You know, like I said, six finishes out of his eight wins. He has to be careful not to consistently look for that finish because he has five first round finishes. Again, finished uh, Josh Quinlan in the third, but again, Josh Quinlan was there to be hit. He was pressing him the entire time. He was getting smushed up until he got finished, and then he hurt him and finished him. So. You know, with Nikolai, who has 10 finishes, he's been finished twice, but 10 out of 12 wins are finishes. He also has six first round finishes. So what does that tell us? He goes hard in the first. I would assume he's not necessarily going to do that in the first with Danny Barlow. He's going to try wrestling with him. And I really like Danny Barlow in that instance with that game plan. I don't think Nikolai's going to come straight on. He's going to try boxing with him. Because Barlow's going to be faster. He's much longer at 5 inch, at five, uh, inch reach advantage with 1 inch in height. I would suspect uh, uh, Nicolet trying to close the distance. And I see Barlow catching him with that left hand and hurting him and finishing him. Probably first or early second round. As always guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.